Good afternoon, everyone. So, a fabulous little technique in a very good flutist and piccolo repertory is flutter tonguing. <laughs> now, this is something that some of us can genetically just use our rolled tongue for. Some of us can just go naturally. This works, but it doesn't give us much dynamic control or speed control. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to kickstart and a bit harsh, but it works. It's Okay, so I'd like to share with you uh, a little bit about what people often call throat flutter tonguing. I don't like to use the word throat because it implies that it's, uh, you know, our actual throat. It's more like the glottal flutter tonguing that people in some European languages use, like Dutch or French, for example. I'm sure there's others. Um, I was so glad that I was taught how to do this. 20 years ago by the lovely Paul Edmund Davies, who basically just said, Sonia, learn it. You will need it. I am so pleased. So, that's what we're going to learn how to do. It's got a great range of control and speed on the flute and it's all, it always works. Uh, it gives you much more confidence. So, for example, on low notes, and I can do it slower. You can see you can do dynamics with it as well. It's not just powerful and loud. High notes, it works perfectly fine. And now that I've finished playing the big silver piccolo, <laughs> you'll get to hear it on piccolo as well. And it works just as fine on piccolo. doing this okay actually you train for it without the instrument all you need is some water okay <laughs> and probably a sink it gets a little bit messy at first basically all we are doing is gargling so we're just going to practice gargling that's it take just the tiniest little bit of water and do a gargle, not too forceful, a nice, slow, gentle gargle, and just observe, what am I actually doing? What's moving? Where is it? Because when we're gargling, we're moving the same little thing inside that we need to move when we're doing our flutter tonguey. So, it goes like this. <laughs> That's it, just short ones. Okay, days and days of practicing that, you think, what am I doing? Where is it moving? Gradually reduce the amount of water, so not so much. Until eventually, you could hear, I did it then without water. So, it usually works a little bit easier with our head back. The trick is to get our head forward and still be able to do it. So we'll do that with some water and gradually the next step after a few days is to start tipping your head forwards just a little bit, little by little. Okay, then again, step two like before, reduce the amount of water until you have none which is okay 
that's it short little bursts as well so then when you do finally pick up your instrument you might just want to do it on your head joint actually so you're not too worried again short little bursts just like you're gargling you can imagine that you're an old-fashioned telephone they probably don't ring like that anymore but okay good luck send me your examples post some in the comments here um send me any questions that you might have good luck